Welcome back to Bros of Rides. Today, I am going to practice on my bike. I'm in an open area. It's a former uh, housing complex that went belly up 25 years ago. Uh, I actually never got developed around here, but I am at the famous Mexico South complex that Dub Panda or whatever his YouTube name is. A lot of people come out here and do some racing, as you can see by the black strips. See behind me is my CB 1000R 2018 made by Honda. It is an amazing bike. I, I really, really love that bike. It is fast, is an absolute gem. It is phenomenal. The only thing I would say it's lacking is a little bit of suspension work. You know, a lot of bikes these days are coming out like that because honestly they know uh, most people aren't riding them to their full potential and it's a naked bike, so it's not supposed to be a super sport, although it is very much like a super sport in its attitude. Uh, when you ride it, it's it's a wheelie machine, even though I don't really know how to do wheelies, but it definitely likes to lift that front wheel up when you roll into the throttle. Some of the things I like about it, besides the look of it, is the, the riding ergonomics. It is really comfortable to ride. Uh, I, I can't say enough about it. It's, it's You're not super crouched over like you are in a super sport. So you got a little bit more upright, but you're not totally upright. Like honestly, it reminds me of my old Honda F4i. That was that was a great bike. It's a very similar seating position. This one just being naked and you know 400 or more cc's. Because the, the CB, I believe had 110 horsepower. This one has 143, which isn't all out crazy compared to some thousands. You know, it's a 2006 Honda Fireblade motor that they reworked and they dropped roughly like 30 horsepower out of it. Back then, I believe it came with 170 and change. Uh, so it's been detuned, but it pulls very well for the only thing that it has is, is a slip on. So uh, I do want to get a, a rapid bike or something of that nature to, to help with that five to 6,000 around their power dip. But you know, right now, honestly, I'm, I'm okay with, with how, how it currently is. I'm watching myself on the GoPro to make sure I'm in frame. It's uh, you know, hard to tell with this. <laughs> I've got some clips of me revving it up, trying to lift the front wheel up a little bit. Like I said, I'm still getting used to that part. You, you guys will be able to see it. Did a couple launches today. Did uh, my first burnouts on it today. So a lot of good stuff happening today. Just uh, trying to showcase the bike itself. But one thing to note, the exhaust is a Pro Race GPS-1. It's a little dirty from <laughs> the burnouts earlier and I do need to polish it up some, but so that's the noise you're hearing. I, I like it. it, gives it a more raw sound, not a baffled sound because, you know, there's no baffling in there. To me, it has a, a bit more higher pitch scream to it, less bass, more treble. So if you're into that, then, then you're gonna really like this muffler. 